the speed of the hype train has been increased. Since the previous rumor roundup, there have been a few leaks and releases, including the Xbox Dark Zone gameplay and the story trailer release. Talk about the PC features, Dark Zone and Story have been turned up a notch on Twitter and YouTube. Today I'm going over all the rumors and released information and footage to provide you with a simple overview of all the information that has been leaked over the past week or two. But first a disclaimer, most but not all information provided in this video is based on released footage and information by Massive Entertainment, Red Storm Studios or Ubisoft. We'll start at January 5th. PlayStation Magazine rescheduled the release of their magazine from the 15th to the 17th of January, basically confirming the end of the embargo. Keep your eyes and ears open on Thursday. Let's follow it up with January 9th, since Ubisoft released a trailer that shows off the PC features for Tom Clancy's The Division 2. Besides some new cinematic gameplay shots and short interviews, they basically went over a lot of the new features for the PC. This time around, PC port gets as much attention as the console versions do, which wasn't the case in the previous installment. Let's start with the new features, we're talking 4K support, HDR or high dynamic range support, meaning better range of contrast and color ranges, support for monitors with higher refresh rates, wide and multi-screen support and uncapped FPS and screen resolution. There's much more, but these were the big things they mentioned. Things I am even more excited about were other features, like improvement to the PC text chat and the custom HUD. Apparently you can now turn off every single element of the HUD, which is very important to a creator like myself, since I create my own overlays, and not having any background text being in the way will result in a much cleaner look. As they worked with AMD, they used features like asynchronous compute and multi-threading of command buffers, both basically optimizing the usage of your GPU, resulting in better frame rates and performance in general. Finishing up, they released this image of the recommended specs based on what kind of rig you're running. The same day, and gone, where Gabe and Hamish, being part of the developer team at Massive Entertainment, dove a little deeper into the PC specs. They also put all the information in an article on their website, both videos and that article are linked in the description. January 14th, Xbox released a video on the upcoming games in 2019, including footage from Tom Clancy's Division 2. It showed gameplay of the Dark Zone and Players Gone Rogue, as well as some other interesting yet small details. The video has been taken down since, but many people have taken screenshots and, re and recorded the video. I will not be sharing the gameplay in this video as I don't want to risk a copyright strike. I will show screenshots of the gameplay, including the details, and talk about that. On the first screenshot, we can see an agent exploring the eastern part of the Dark Zone. The agent needs to open gates, which might confirm that we have missions in or related to the Dark Zone. On the left side we can see an in-game explanation of how to mark targets, which indicates that you can mark a target, which will result in a 5 second countdown timer. This might be a hint at the new rogue mechanic, it might have to do something with the drone, although the player doesn't have a drone selected. On the top right we can see the level bar, which looks like the light zone level bar, since it has a green indication just on the right. In later screenshots we can see a purple bar, confirming dark zone leveling to return as well. Other than that. Under the player's health and armor bar we can see two skills, the one on the right is the Hive, we've seen that before, however the one on the left is a new icon. I'm 99% sure that's the Pulse, since in the E3 2013 gameplay the agent had a Pulse selected with the exact same logo. Back to the left we can see a collectible confirming the return of collectibles. And the rest of this image isn't that interesting, so let's move on to the next screenshot. Screenshot number 2 details some information on what's to do in the dark zone. It shows a disavowed rank 03 indicator in the top left with a countdown timer. Meaning, similarly to the Division 1, rogues will have both ranks and countdown timers. Other than that, we can see the return of landmarks in the Dark Zone, this one indicated as Wreck. The final screenshot reveals a rogue agent being attacked by either another player or a hunter. It's not really sure since we only can see a silhouette and that NPC or player is using a hostile defender drone. 
In the top left, there's a lot of information. Starting at the top, we can see the Thieves Den triangulation at 25%. Although it's pretty unsure what this means. Maybe it's a mission, maybe it's not. It kind of looks like a mission though. Beneath that, we can see Dark Sun Supply Drops are making a return. And with a similar logo to a landmark, but this time indicated in red instead of purple, are catacombs. Both confirming there will be an underground area, at least in the dark zone, and it might even be a special event or activity similar to contamination events. Those were a lot of details, but sadly we couldn't see the gameplay. January 16th. Hey, that's today! At the exact same time that I've released this video, there will be an official story trailer for Tom Clancy's The Division 2. It will be uploaded on every Ubisoft channel, and since I made this video before I could even watch it, as I have to work at around that time, I can't link to it yet. However, as soon as it drops, I will do my best to link it both in the description, as well as in the comment section down below. The trailer was announced yesterday, January 15th, on the official Twitter of the game. I linked it in the description alongside all the other sources. A small detail that has been pointed out was that the flags are upside down, which indicates a distress signal. I'm not sure what to do with that information, since we all know it's in a post-pandemic Washington DC, but do with this information what you will. I'm going over the story trailer as soon as I'm home from work to make a video on it. I'm not sure if it will be a breakdown or a story video or whatever, I'll decide once the trailer is revealed. Three or four different days with major releases by credible companies and Ubisoft themselves. We keep getting closer to the end of the embargo and I think in a day or maybe two days we're gonna see a whole lot more information on The Division 2. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the rumor roundup I would like to ask you to like or dislike whatever you think it deserves, share the video if you liked it, subscribe and click the notification bell to become part of the Masterminds HD community and notification squad. On top of that, you can follow me on Twitter for daily updates and join my Discord if you're looking for an engaged community that revolves around Tom Clancy's Division 1 and 2. Both links are in the description. Visit my Patreon page through the link in the description if you're interested in general exclusive content on Tom Clancy's Division 2. And to end the video, I have a question for you. What are you hoping to see from Ubisoft or other content creators when the embargo ends? Leave your answer in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. I'll talk to you in the next video on Discord or on Twitter. For now, peace out.